more African countries hold elections every year. A generous interpretation is that 21 out of 54 African countries could be considered as democracies. A more conservative analysis considers only nine African countries to be either full or flawed democracies, hosting around 12% of the continent's population. Recent research by the Institute for Security Studies seeks to measure and forecast the contribution that democracy could make to Africa's future development. Currently, democracy in much of Africa is constrained from delivering on its development potential for three reasons. First, most African countries are poor and lack the governance capacity, such as a capable civil service, required to translate change in executive leadership into service delivery. Second, the quality of electoral democracy is thin. Many countries host elections, but too often these are neither free nor fair. Governing parties manipulate the process and outcomes. Finally, Neopatrimonialism, the informal system where patrons use state resources to secure loyalty, undermines electoral democracy in Africa. This frustrates the essence of open and competitive elections. Poor countries often experience rapid economic growth. This is because they have young populations and cheap labor. With a strong governing party and visionary leadership, these countries could experience even faster growth. In Ethiopia and Rwanda, very specific conditions such as a history of mass violence and the dominance of a strong, development-focused party after a people's war for liberation have allowed rapid improvements in service delivery. These kinds of states are the exception. However, most countries emerge from different conditions. The ISS forecast to 2070 quantifies the contribution that different levels of democracy would have on Africa's economic and human development. Using the International Futures Forecasting System, hosted by the University of Denver, we model the impact of two scenarios, a democratic regression and a positive wave of democracy. The results show that, generally, democracy in Africa is likely to steadily advance, but with ups and downs. In low-income countries, democracy contributes little to human development outcomes. But... As countries climb the income ladder and become more socially and economically complex, democracy steadily contributes to good governance, development, and growth. This only happens if five key components of electoral democracy are realized. These are substantive free, fair, and competitive elections, an elected top executive, universal voting rights, freedom of assembly, and freedom of expression. Download the full paper at www.issafrica.org.